Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mindset Monday. Now, I actually am pretty excited because uh, typically what I do when I record these podcasts, I just record a bunch um, all in the same day and then I just schedule them for release. And uh, sometimes it's because I'm traveling. I know that um, events are coming up. And so I want to make sure there's a consistency uh, to when these are released, when you actually have access to these and when you share them. But it, it's, it's nice because sometimes I, I just get to sit uh, in my office and just kind of like, it's like a therapy session. It's like an opportunity to just kind of, you know, talk just to kind of share my feelings because I, I write down a, a few points that I have on my uh, screen right in front of me here, but I just kind of riff. I just kind of share what we're doing. And I was kind of thinking about like, which one do I want to share today? And this is the eighth episode of Mindset Monday. And I plan to actually have uh, two more after this. And as I was thinking about this episode specifically, uh, and kind of going through this process, and I think I, I share these ideas to to not only share my learning, but to learn. Uh, I think this actually should have been first. This should have been uh, the first episode. And so what I'm going to talk about today is the idea of facing hard truths. And what does that actually mean? And how does it actually benefit um, the things that we do? And I always try to like to talk about these ideas in basically a personal and a professional way. And I'm going to actually start with a professional way. And one of the things I used to say to my staff when I was a principal is I cannot fix problems that I don't know exist. And so what I was saying to them is, you know, I don't want any conversations, uh, you know, kind of behind the scenes about complaints about things. Uh, and, and you just complain about it and then nothing gets fixed. And then you complain, I'm not doing anything about it. Well, maybe the reason I'm not doing anything about it is because I don't know. I think a lot of times, uh, we, we want people to solve problems that we have or kind of go through this process, but they don't even know it's a, an issue. They don't even know it, it, it's, it's a deal. So that, that's really kind of opened me up to some learning and people would share some ideas with me. And sometimes you'd have to have conversations saying like, Hey, I want you to like, like, like you're saying like, Hey, staff is unhappy or, uh, the culture is bad, things like that. You know, you could be saying to the staff, I'm like, well, give me something specific right? Because that's a very general thing. And sometimes I think we speak in these general observations of things and there's nothing that can actually be fixed, but like, Hey, like give me something specific to actually share. And it's actually something I do when I, when I do sessions with people, I ask them to share what questions they have. And then what I actually do is that I'll, I'll, I'll look at the questions that they share in like a Google sheet or whatever. And then I actually say like, Hey, here's your question. Tell me more explain this to me. And so I want people to kind of get specific with this so that there's something that can be addressed. And one of the things I've talked about for years and was kind of exposed to me on um, this idea of problem finders and solvers by you and Macintosh. And it's really kind of not thinking about this as an either or, because I know people who are amazing problem finders. They can tell you what's wrong with everything in the world. They just don't have the solutions, right? And I think it's really thinking about how do we become both of these things, not one or the other. And like you think about in the opposite end, it, people that are always solving problems that they don't really care about, whatever someone else is identifying for them, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll tend to lose interest. So how do we become both of those things? And so when I would say that, um, it, it was actually encouraging people to share like, hey, if there's things that are wrong, let's let's fix this. Let's not, um, you know, let's not kind of stray away from this. And so the reason I talked about this as a prefer professional side is because in some ways, and I'm being honest here, that I've kind of avoided this, um, and I, I avoided this in the past in some personal aspects of my lives. And the one time I was thinking about this specifically is uh, really kind of looking over the last you know year, year and a half of kind of like a physical transformation for me. And it, it really kind of started with when I started to lose weight and kind of think about this, but how did I actually start losing weight? And you know, for years and years, I, I had known when I was gaining weight, I could feel my clothes, you know, you know, fit in a little bit different. And then, you know, I just get some baggier pants and, you know, things like this. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, you feel when you uh, start to outgrow your clothes because you're gaining weight and then you buy new clothes that are a little bit bigger, then you fit better into them. And then, you know, it's kind of like you're, you're playing these little mind games with yourself. And I was, I could see like my size were going up and up and up and I was kind of struggling with this. 
And I would always say like, Hey, you know, it's just like how I feel, right. How I feel. And I think you kind of get some, you know, dysmorphia of you kind of like paint a picture of, you know, what you look like or whatever. And so I just said, I'm not going to look at the scale. The scale is always, you know, an issue because I see that weight on the scale and I just feel so demotivated. And basically what I was doing was not taking my own advice is I was actually, instead of like saying, Hey, I can't fix a problem unless, you know, unless I know it exists. What I was doing was making sure that I didn't see the problem that I, I just, so I, there's nothing to fix, right? Cause I'm not looking at the problem, no issue. And so I think sometimes we got to face these hard truths. And I remember uh, I got that Lumen device and I've talked about it several times and it kind of helps you with your metabolism. Like it doesn't like fix your metabolism, but it kind of, you know, uh, gauges where your metabolism is. And, you know, sometimes it says like, Hey, you need to eat this, blah, blah, blah. And I had used, I remember getting it on like a, uh, I think it was a Wednesday or Thursday. And I started taking these measurements and took it on Thursday, you know, took it on Friday, took it on Saturday, Sunday. And then uh, Monday, it said like, hey, we're going to, what's your weight, right? Get on a scale and tell us what your weight. And so we can, and I was like, nah, really do I want to do this? And I probably hadn't weighed myself, um, you know, for, to be honest with you, for a couple of years, I avoided it like crazy. And, um, and then I got on the scale and I had like in my mind, okay, I weigh this much. This is how much I weigh. And I was like ready for that. And then I got on the scale and I was 40 pounds more than what I expected to see on that scale. And I'll tell you, I just like felt like I was punched in the head, punched in the gut. Um, and I was just sick. And I remember actually, I remember looking at the scale, just being so upset about it. And I went into my bedroom and I just lay down and I was just, I just couldn't move. I was just so upset about it. But here's the thing. I saw the problem. I saw what the issue was, right? And uh, what I started doing is I said, okay, this is, this, this is the reality. This is the reality. This is not where I want it to be. I got to figure something out. And so I kind of always felt I could just, you know, if I worked out, my weight would never go up. But I was eating horribly. And I'll, I'll talk more kind of about some of my eating habits in, in the next episode, actually. But I said, okay, like, like obviously working out isn't enough. I got to fix my diet. I got to I got to like think differently about my diet. And it wasn't until that moment where I saw that hard truth, where I faced that, that I could actually have something to solve. Because I think a lot of times we kind of push things away. We don't have conversations that we, we need to have. And um, if we don't do that, then we're kind of like, you know, covering our eyes to some of the issues that we have, you know, through the space. And I think that's such an important aspect of what we do professionally, personally, is that we have to have these conversations, be specific, like, hey, here's this issue. How do we solve this? Right? Like, and not just generalize, you know, like, people are unhappy. Okay, why are they unhappy? Like, tell me this, right? Hey, um, you know, you're not healthy. Okay, well, what's not what's not healthy? Right? So like, what is the problem? Because it's really hard to fix a, a, a general problem with a specific solution, right? You have to you kind of have to have like a specific issue that you're targeting to actually feel success. And so I think that when you look at facing hard truths, it can be a gut punch. Um, but I think long term, it just it gets way harder, it gets way harder to deal with. And so sometimes we got to face those problems, because if you don't identify the problem, they're, they're, then sometimes you just you're avoiding also a solution. So here's what I encourage you when you're thinking about this. What is that, 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 that specific thing? that you need to face that specific problem that you kind of need to face. And then think about one to two things that would help you that would help you kind of address that problem. And so I think facing hard truths is not a negative thing. I think it's actually a positive thing because it allows us to create solutions to move forward. So just some thoughts, you know, sitting here on a, you know, random day, uh, kind of talking this out. I hope you enjoy this. I, I do. I always look forward to recording these mindset Mondays because I think it's a time for me to share some vulnerability, some things I've struggled with and how I overcame them. And I just hope in some way um, there's something here that can help you. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for all you do. And I hope you enjoy this episode of Mindset Monday. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for all you do.